This video will demonstrate the seat clean movement adjustment procedure for Waukesha Cherry Burrell W70 series mix proof valves, which should be completed after any routine maintenance to ensure continued optimum performance. The valve insert must be installed into a valve body in order to perform the seat clean adjustment. For demonstration purposes, a spare body is being utilized in this video to complete the procedure at a workbench with the valve situated in an inverted position. Note that the valve should never be balanced on its control top when inverted as it is not designed to support the weight of the valve. Please record the correct adjustment measurements for your particular valve from the tables displayed here. After the elastomeric components have been changed in your mix-proof valve, it is time to install the valve stems back into the valve insert. With an anti-seize compound applied to the threads, begin tightening the upper stem into position until the brown etching is aligned with the adjustment sleeve. A scribe line is located in the brown etching that should be taken right up to the edge of the adjustment sleeve. If the adjustment sleeve turns during the installation process of the upper stem, simply hold the sleeve to complete the process. This is an important step in the assembly process as screwing the upper stem too far into the actuator may cause damage to elastomers in the actuator, which will result in compressed air leakage or improper operation. With an anti-seize compound applied to the threads, gently insert the lower stem, threading all the way until a hard stop is felt. Note that the lower stem should not contact the upper stem prior to the hard stop being felt. If contact is felt prior to final locking of the lower stem, the upper stem should be inspected and potentially threaded further into the actuator. Lock the lower stem into position with a wrench and mallet as shown. With the stems installed into the insert, the valve is ready to be installed into the body for final adjustment. Again, note that the valve used in this video is inverted, which may differ from your particular valve's orientation in the process line. Begin the final adjustment by measuring the stem travel of the lower balancer to the lower retainer. Achieve this by holding a measuring device in position and performing a lower seat clean. Once the correct amount of lower stem travel is determined for your application, adjust to increase or decrease the lower stem travel with an Allen or spanner wrench by turning the adjustment sleeve as shown here. For W71 models with the valve mounted vertically, Turning the sleeve to the right will increase the lower stem's travel, and turning to the left will decrease the lower stem's travel. For the W72RS models, the location of the lower stem is more critical than the stem travel. Confirm the proper location of the lower stem by measuring the distance from the lower seal retainer to the lower shoulder of the stem when the valve is static. See correct measurements in the table for your particular valve model and size. To increase this measurement distance and allow more cleaning of the lower seat, turn the adjustment sleeve to the left. To decrease the distance and allow less cleaning of the lower seat, turn the adjustment sleeve to the right. Check the lower stem and continue to adjust until the desired amount of seat cleaning is achieved. Once the lower stem has been adjusted, the upper stem can be checked and adjusted as required by measuring the amount of travel of the adjusting nut versus the yoke. This is achieved by holding a measuring device in position and performing an upper seat clean. Opposite of the lower stem adjustment, turning the adjustment nut to the right will decrease the upper stem's travel, and turning to the left will increase the upper stem's travel. This adjustment is the same for both W71 and W72 RS models. Check the travel and adjust until the desired amount of seat cleaning is achieved. Once the upper and lower stems have the desired seat cleaning movements, the valve is ready for service. Following these procedures will help you properly maintain your W70 series mix-proof valves to maximize operating life and maintain process integrity. To order replacement parts, please contact your authorized SPX Flow sales representative or visit www.spxflow.com slash WCB for more information.